What is going on you guys? Um, right now I'm heading to go meet up with my friend Monty so that we can use his truck to go get a little uh, thing from U-Haul. They um, sell like tow, tow stuff or some tow bed or something like that. Um, anyways, we're gonna go pick one of those up so that we can use it to tow my car to the garage so that we can start installing my spark plugs. Um, as you guys saw in the past video, or in the video before you we were installing my injectors. I don't remember where I left off, but I know I left off with um, explaining to you guys how to like unclip everything and put everything in. I'll go over that one more time when we get to the car, just to make sure that I don't forget anything. But yeah, we got my injectors in. We had to change my oil because when we were starting my car, there was a lot of fuel in my oil. So we changed my oil, put new oil in there. Haven't started my car for like a week or so or something like that. And go meet up with Monty to get his truck so that we can go tow my car and finally start working on it. And Moving on with this process during this whole quarantine thing. All right guys, so I just arrived to the garage. Monty's not here yet, so we are just waiting on Monty. And one thing about Monty, Monty, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, bro, but one thing about Monty is he likes to take his sweet, sweet time with everything. He's always late to everything. No offense to you, bro, but that's just the truth, bro. You take your time. Oh so yeah, we're just waiting on Monty to get here. Um, But a little update. I've been trying to film. I've been trying to like stay on top of it, but this whole quarantine thing is just messing everything up. My plan was to just wait for this whole thing to like pass by. Unfortunately, it's taking longer than I expected so I'm just gonna start filming what I can right now uh, to get content out for you guys because it's been way too long and I want to start making videos again I want to start filming and there's been so much stuff that I've been doing that I could have filmed but I just wanted to wait but I'm not taking no more chances I'm not gonna lose any more content so anything that comes up I'm gonna film it so I can post it for you guys and create content for you guys keep posting and stuff like that so yeah my hair is longer <laughs> my hair is extremely long my barber is closed right now um maybe he'll take take me in I'm not sure but I'm gonna ask him about it I know you guys question is have you been working blah, blah blah no I actually haven't been working because of this whole quarantine situation but um hopefully I'll be able to start working up again I do have a couple jobs for a friend coming up yesterday we had a little barbecue with the whole garage crew and I put in some headlights for my friend on her GTR that looked amazing by the way they look really good and she really likes them so L thank you for letting me work on your car and trusting me that's something that I could have filmed for you guys that I was talking about like just there's just been content going on that I could have just filmed but I haven't been filming but like I said, I'm not gonna lose any more of that. I'm gonna make sure I film everything get it some content up for you guys and yeah So waiting on Monty. We're just gonna wait on Monty for now and then I'll get back to you guys when he gets here All right, so I think there's a little bit of change of plan. Monty's outside the garage right now I'm gonna follow him to go meet up with our other friend L The one that I worked on her GCR for her and then I think we're gonna go get my car after that I'm not sure what's going on, but We're gonna go find out. What's good Monty? Good. <laughs> that was a fail. We didn't need to bring the 370 at all. We're heading to go. What are we doing right now? We're gonna go check out some wheels. We have two S2. For yours? No, for yeah, for GT. Oh shit, that's a nice S2 done. We're gonna go look at some wheels for the GT for Monty's GTR. His 2019 white, pearly white GTR. L's over there with her GTR. And then we're gonna go pick up my car. Um, and I wasn't supposed to bring the 370. <laughs> we'll pick it up later. Max, come here. Where you at? Max, come here. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? This is Monty's dog, Max. Good. What's up? Oh, Get off me, son. What's up? Hi. Man. We're happy to see Max and Logan. Shut up. Alright, we're house. about to go inside and look for Monty's rims. We'll be back. Look, guys. These are the lights that we installed yesterday that we didn't film. Yes, sir. We installed those. Nice, bro. Dude, Right now, nice, bro. You interrupted me. Nice. What? Nice for inter I don't you know inter you were talking to yourself. Damn. I was talking to the people on the camera. Thank you very much. I paid forty dollars to fill my tank, and usually it's like fifty-five. I know gas is hella cheap right now, but yeah, it was about a two-hour job. But after you Ooh. after you figure it out, it'll be really quick. It'll be a quick job. We're filling up gas right now so that we can go to UP to go pick up her turbos for her car, make her car faster. And then we're gonna go pick up my car and make it running again. Some snacks for the road. 
sponsor me. Sponsor me, Rips. And Brisk. Brisk, <laughs> sponsor me. Is that my post? What post? Look, it's, look at it. I am looking at it. All I see is a big ass <laughs> show. <laughs> Alright, guys, so update on picking up the car. Uh, couldn't get the car starting because for one it didn't have gas then we went to go get gas and when we got back the car was dead so my battery's dead so we still couldn't get it and right now we're at a parking lot where they're doing a meet so that's the update car's not working still not working we'll get back to you guys when we get back to the car all right guys so after a long ass day we finally got it on the trailer with the help of this big dude right here manny <laughs> so we finally got it on the trailer we got it in the garage we're waiting on a couple friends so that they can move their car and we can get it into the garage and start working on it. So yeah, we'll see you guys when they get here. All right guys, we finally got it in the garage. We gotta push it and the guy over there helped us out. Got it pushed in the garage. Now hopefully either today or tomorrow we can start doing the spark plugs. Yeah, this is a bitch, it was a bitch, huh? Yeah, it was. It was a bitch, huh, Monty? Major bitch. <laughs> All right guys, I had to take over because Logan sucks, as I said before in multiple videos. Logan sucks at recording, so I had to take over. They haven't even been posted. They haven't been posted because you suck at recording, yes. Hey, you missed one of these. You missed the 10. It ran away. Okay, this is Logan attempting to turn on his car. Take one. Okay, go. Sorry for the mess in the garage. It's usually cleaner, but we just had uh, a barbecue yesterday, so it's pretty fucking dirty. Okay, turn your truck on. <laughs> like always, Logan yelling at people. Y'all really think he's all nice and shit in front of the camera, but behind the camera, he's a big old asshole. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You see? Turn it on. Let it sit. You gotta let it sit before you turn it on. That's what I'm saying. Logan don't know nothing about cars. And you know shit? Yes. I put my headlights on. I put that shit on. <laughs> I did three hours of work for that shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take you guys to show my my wheel my my lights. My lights are nice. You see, these are the ones Logan installed yesterday. They're pretty nice. Makes the GTR look a lot better. I'm telling Logan he should just sell his car and get a GTR. But he wants to have a CTSV, even though it's been down for months. This is Monty. Monty has a 2019 GTR. What's up, guys? Right? Yes, yes, ma'am. We're about to start fixing his car up too. Hey, I found some turbos for you. They're gonna jump start the car because Logan's car has been sitting for so long. Are you gonna go get Misty tonight? Should I? Yes, you already said you were. You have to go get Misty. Okay. Tire okay. her out with she's gonna remember the your old house. Okay, so <laughs> Tomorrow, I mean tonight, we're gonna go over to Monty's house to stay the night. And it, you and it, t -t today, Junior. And where Monty lives, it's the same complex Logan used to live at. The last place he used to live at. Last place. The last place. So Misty's probably gonna be all happy and shit. She's probably gonna run up and down his whole house. She's probably gonna think that's the house. Yeah. She's gonna look for the somebody else. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna go to Monty's house tonight because we gotta come back in the morning and keep working on Logan car because his car's so important yes it is yeah your car's it's been down for, for so like long three months bro. it sucks how you're still paying for it and wow, it has not been three months yeah it's it been has. three months has it really it's been three months yeah <laughs> Damn, Logan, your car's broken, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> I swear, Logan, this better not be like your other videos where you had me recording for you and you don't post them. Bro. You guys know he's recorded like five videos already and he hasn't posted them. He's been slacking this whole time. <clears throat> Roll on a road to the milli. On the road, uh, on yep. Road to the milli. To a milli. At this pace, bro, he's gonna take years to get there. No, he's not. No, he's not. Years it's and all years. about good content. <laughs> I got the stuff, bro. You got the stuff? What you got? Hey, no cameras, no cameras. <laughs> what what you do got, we say? Bro? No cameras. Probably gonna end it after this, this video, after this day, because this is kind of like gonna be a long <laughs> video to edit. But so this is day three. Yesterday we really didn't get to do much. Uh, the only thing that we really got to do was get the car to the garage, put it on the lift, and look at um, the spark plugs. <clears throat> 
We tried pulling it up by hand, but it was just way too hard. So I'm gonna head to AutoZone right now to get this little tool that hooks around the spark plug. Um, I forgot what they're called. The the clips that hook onto the spark plug. Uh, it's a little like tool that hooks onto a round thing, and that'll be a lot easier to take out the spark plug. And then on top of that, I need to buy one more spark plug because I already used one because we thought the spark plugs were bad before, which they weren't, but then we made them bad. So long story short, we were the cause of the spark plugs being bad. So I have to go buy one more because I have a new one in there that we that we used. I have eight spark plugs to replace, and I only have. Seven, so I need to go buy a new one. So we're gonna go do that, get the tool, and then we're gonna go start heading to back to Monty's house to get the truck so that we can take um, the trailer back uh, because it, it's a rental, it's a U-Haul. We're gonna get that done today. It's really hot in this damn car and I can't talk. Let me let me turn the car off first. And my hair's still long. Still can't get a haircut because my barber's not open yet. So Eric, if you're watching this, please open soon, bro. I'm tired of this long hair. I need to get it cut. Look like a weirdo. So yeah, if you're watching this, bro, please open up soon. <laughs> or at least get me in or something. I don't know. I'll see you guys when we get to the garage. What's good, fam? Had to pick up an extra spark plug and then these to pull out the spark plug boots because they're a bitch to get out. They're a real bitch to get out. All right, so I think we're just going to take off all the coils so that we have more room to reach down there and pull out the boot of the spark plug. Yeah. Because... It's really, it's a really tight space and yeah, it's a real bitch to like try to... You're gonna be able to reach the pliers in there. Yeah, these pliers right here to clamp on to the spark plug. But yeah, it's a real bitch. So I had to unscrew this to get some room to get this bolt. And then we're gonna pull this off, which is the ignition coils, to have extra space. So I'll come back when I pull those off. So it's really just this, this bolt, this bolt, and it's on all four of them. There's two bolts. And yeah. then you just unplug them. Alright guys, so after getting the plug out, this is what they're gonna look like. After you unplug it from the coil and the spark plug, this piece is the part that plugs into the spark plug. And this cover, you don't really need to grab this cover, it's mostly just this rubber piece, but just try to be careful with it. Because if you damage this, then you're going to have to get a new wire, but if you just do it by hand, twist it and wiggle it, it should pop right out. And that, those are what connect it to the spark plugs, and then the spark plugs are right down here. And you have to get like a 90 degree tool, and I think it's a 10, and you just pull the spark plug out. You can kind of see the spark plug sticking out right there. That's the spark plug right there. If you And then you grab a 10, I think it is, and then you unscrew it and screw it out. We're going to go ahead and do all that to all 8, and then I'll be back when they're all out. Alright, so we had to get a, what is it called? A 90 degree, so we gotta get a 90 degree long wrench so that we can grip on. So these, we have to grip onto it. Go ahead and show. So what you have to do, because they're so like tight in there, you gotta put the 90 degree thing in between the metal and the rubber and get a good grip on it. And then get something for leverage to wrench it out so that it pops out easily. And we're about to show you how that's done in a second. But make sure when you're 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 pushing it, that you're pushing against metal when metal. you're doing it. Yeah. Here, I'll grip it for you. Yep. Keep going. There you go. So that pops out just like that. So as you hold on to it, it's in between the metal and the rubber so that you grip onto it as hard as you can and then you just pop it right out. So now we're doing that to all four. We already got this side out. We're gonna go ahead and get this side out and then we'll get them all put back together. All right, what's up, you guys? So today we're going to be kind of going to be installing headers on my car. We already got one side in. I'm gonna go through the steps and explain to you guys everything that we had to do. Just get one side of the headers in and to finish putting the other headers in. Um, and a little explanation on why I'm putting headers in my car. Go ahead and start with how to undo the headers because oh my god, let me tell you, it was a mess. It was so hard to do this. But basically, so these are the new O2 plugs. I haven't got my O2s in yet. I only have the the top O2s. The O2 sensors are just the sensors that go right here. This is the upstream O2, which what they do is, what the O2s do is they just read the gas and airflow that goes through your car and um, to make sure that it's safe and stuff like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm missing something, but I know that that's what they do for the exhaust. They just read the airflow and the gas that goes through the exhaust um, to keep your car running right. But if there's anything else that I'm missing, let me know in the comments. I only got these ones right now. I still have to order the other ones along with the rest of my exhaust. I already ordered that. 
so that should be coming in hopefully in an, uh, a couple days hopefully in a couple days along with these downstream o2s which do the same thing as uh, the upstream o2s so it's just to read the gas and air flow through your car but yeah this side so this side these are the old headers this side we had to cut i had to cut this side multiple times to try to loosen it and get it out i had to literally cut it apart because there's like little space i have so little space right here and it tells you to disconnect them the bolts so there's these bolts right here that hold this half this half to this half we were supposed to unbolt these but we tried and then we just kept stripping them so i just had to freaking cut that thing off finally we we're able to get it out this is where the headers go and it's it's just a really small space so i had to cut it there's no there was no way around it there would have been a way around it if we didn't strip the bolts or if we were able to get the bolts off but we had we didn't have the right tools or anything to like to help get the bolts off so we just went ahead and cut that shit because it was a bitch second so for this side that's already in we had to disconnect the steering rod which goes i don't know if you guys can see but there's this black piece right here it's a c clamp it's a black piece c clamp and it has a little bolt on it that you take off and then right right here this thing this rod right here there's a bolt that you take off right here and then this goes in between there and it sits like it'll sit like this on there the steering rod so we just put it back on there because we already got this in so you just put it back on there after that when you're done with this so that's all you had to do to this side was take that steering rod off and then it slips right in and out which is why it came out in one piece which is i was really happy about it came out in one piece I'm super happy about that because the other side, I was literally on the other side for like an hour. It, it sucked. But now I know in these headers, even though this is a small space, they slip in and out. So that's that's a plus. That's a really big plus. Oh yeah, speaking of the headers, the headers that I got. Sorry, there's so much trash in here. I got Cook's headers. These things are amazing. Cook's long two headers. Shout out to Cook's. They come actually with directions on how to do everything and all the stuff that you need. All the bolts. They come with all the bolts and directions you need to do, which I didn't know until after I got that side in. So they come with the directions and everything you need to do. Uh, the new O2 plugs, which you saw that were plugged in already. They came with these. Not these. These I had to buy separately, but they came with the wires. The extended wires to help get your O2s in easier. And they also came with uh, head gaskets. Head gaskets are just, um, where are they at? They came with new head gaskets, which are just, these aren't the new ones, but these are the old ones. But these are head gaskets. These go in between the headers and the block right i'll show you guys right there you see those circles right there they sit right on those circles that's where the headers sit too they sit right on top of that uh, my friend's gonna get here and help me out so I'll, sh I'll go ahead and film that side putting in this side for you guys to show you guys how to do that and on top of filming everything and putting everything back together to show you exactly what i was talking about that i took off put these headers on you also need six bolts so two four six six bolts that you have to put in on the top and then they're strapped in and yeah they ain't going nowhere this uh header literally is not going nowhere it's stable stuck down there quarantine's kind of kicking everybody in the ass right now especially me so yeah i hope everybody's having a good time during quarantine and staying safe and staying inside and doing what they need to do hopefully it's not setting anybody too far back because i know it set me back hella that's why i haven't been filming but i am going to start filming again i'm just going to say it because that's just my decision i'm going to take that chance to um make content and film for you guys because i'm slacking on what i want to do and stuff like that so i'm gonna just be filming for you guys i hope everybody else is staying safe staying happy and during this whole quarantine Thing. Okay, so this is the new gasket that I was talking about. And my boy Fifi's is down me. I can't see you, bro. <laughs> boy Fifi's is helping me out. He's been helping me out the whole time. So basically, he has to push it up through here, and then I have to put this on it and try to get the bolt on it at the same time. So that's gonna be a bitch. This side's like the hardest side because it's so crammed. This side was the easiest side because it's like it's more open over there. But over here, it's just all crammed up. And the bolt that I have to get is all the way back there. So you have to slide it up like that. And I have to put the gasket in while trying to put a bolt in at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do that. I don't even know how I'm going to hold this. Yeah, that lines up. So that's how it's going to sit with the gasket in between it. Okay, after wiggling and moving around, we finally got this shit in. We had to switch places because it's 
His fingers are skinnier than mine. Exactly. So, let me see. Let's get a good view. Can you look up the head a little bit? I got like you. That? Yeah. Finally got it in. He's putting in the last couple bolts in right now. And L and Maria just showed up. I should have filmed putting in L's lights on her GTR. You try to certify, let him know, bro. For real. Oh, there you go. You guys can see that. Putting that last bolt in. You spent $42 on a pizza? Oh, nice. Today? No, yes, oh wow! You know, I couldn't get the coronavirus, so I had to order. Really? <laughs> is it going in easy? It is, but I can't twist it with my hands at this angle, bro. I can do it, brother. Bro, what are you doing? I hope the freaking what? Oh sh! Camera gonna die. Give you something you remember with it in this nigga don't ever forget